Good morning. Uh, today is the 9th of January and I'm here with Mr. Ben Quiet from Planet Auto once again. Um, this is a 2019, or it might be a 2020 actually, a Sanyong Musso Saracen. It's a 2.2 litre diesel engine in this, like all Musso's, and this has a six speed ASIN automatic gearbox. The Saracen is the normal top of the range one. There is a Rhino special edition on top of this, but this has all been fitted out with all sorts of lovely extras. We've got the uh, sort of truckman top here, um, or truckman tight top anyway, I'm not sure it's made by them. Uh, we've got the roof rails, side, side steps, these black alloy wheels, I think they're about 18 inches in size, yes they are. Now the, um, for some reason the headlamps aren't um, LEDs, they're, they're projector, but the daytime running lights are LEDs of course. Got some fog lights. This is a very tough looking pickup truck indeed. Now the price without VAT, because normally pickup trucks are classed without VAT, is at £28,000. The reg starts at um, uh, £22,000 of that VAT and that's about £4,000 less or so than an equivalent Mitsubishi L200 which is very very good value in money indeed. You also ha have the fact that this car, truck I should say, that has a standard 7 year 150,000 mile warranty. It's very capable of doing the towing, um, as you can see we've got the Mercedes Benz on the back of here. I think it tows about 3 tonnes or thereabouts, might even be 3 and a half actually on this. Because this is the top of the range Saracen model, we've got everything in here. We've got heated leather seats, got a big touch screen in the middle that has navigation, we've got the uh, selector for the four wheel drive modes, uh, USB socket there, we've got um, the aux in there as well, and um, a cigarette lighter or a 12 volt socket. Is that a cigarette lighter? I think it might be actually. That's interesting. There's a big cubby space in here for all sorts of odds and ends. So there, yep, loads of space in there. Thank goodness we've got a conventional handbrake. I like conventional handbrakes. There's also um, I don't know if it's leatherette or it's or, or it's uh, or it's actual leather. Electric seats as well. The back seats are some of the most comfortable I've actually used in every pickup because the angle that they're inclined. Um, it's, it's pretty good. I put the headrest up when I was sitting in the back there because it's a bit more comfortable. But bed is six foot three, and um, I fit very nicely behind him indeed. And we do have heated rear seats as well. Let's see if we can take a look at the engine. So this is uh, the 2.2 litre diesel engine that all Sanyo Musso's come with and also all Rexton's come with too and I think the Sanyo Turismo it's 178 horsepower four cylinder engine I don't know what the torque figure is I, I couldn't tell you it's about 400 is that 400 pound foot or two meters 400 newton meters of torque so no, no wonder it tows really well um, easy access to everything it's, it's not actually that cramped in here it looks like it could, could have a much bigger engine in here um, I think it's also longitudinally mounted and not transversely mounted, but I might be wrong about that. Looks like it's longitudinally mounted. Um, massive battery on this, enormous battery. But yes, very nice for maintenance and gas struts too. Brilliant. So inside the driver's cockpit here, automatic wipers, automatic lights, cruise control, Traction control, hill descent control. I can't remember if this has lean lane keeping assistance or not. Yep, that is a cigarette lighter, so we've got two 12 volt sockets either side. We've got heated and ventilated seats on both sides. Wow. I think this is um, only single zone climate control. Heated front screen. And then there's a start stop button, which I will demonstrate now to put my foot on the brake here just turn that on right so we've got the uh, SD card that goes in here for the sat nav as I said it's a six speed um, ASIN automatic gearbox in this particular car we've got uh, winter power and economy modes here a little tiny switch there's the Sanyong logo it's just sort of booting up it only takes a while I'll open the glove box whilst that's, lo whilst that's loading there's the glove box down there, looks big enough. I'll just turn off the 
volume so I don't get any copyright infringement. So the navigation's on there. There we go. We're in Birmingham. And we can go home and have a look on there. We've got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and all kinds of interesting things on here. There's a setup functionality. Yeah, we've used the Apple CarPlay earlier on as well. We used Waze through here. There's the driving display. Very similar to a Tivoli, actually. It even makes the same kind of noises. Which is interesting. Same. Yeah, there you go. There's a little Sanyong noise. All of them make that. And look at all these things we've got in here. Let's... There's the electric folding mirror switch, um, and four electric windows, and there's a door locking control. The only thing I, I, I would say is that the um, um, these interior door handles feel really, really flimsy. I don't know why. Everything else feels very robust. This is hard at the top of here, but there is uh, the leverette on there as well, and of course the electric seat controls just there. So there's the, uh, the, the back in here, and, it's, and there's all the sort of uh, Planet Auto filming equipment, including the famous gimbal. And even got some map pockets in there too. Okay, so we'll just lift up this uh, Truckman type top and look inside. There's loads of space in here. Um, I think you can put about a ton on this bed, which is very impressive. And then you can. I think lower this as well. There we go. I'm not going to be very careful so I've got, because we've got something behind there. But that's easy enough to open and shut. I'm, I think you could probably stand on this as well. Of course, you could to pick up. So, a very, very versatile thing indeed. And even got little kind of things where you could open the back windows. I don't, I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you can for a bit of ventilation. Cattle. Cattle and um, you know if you maybe if you carry something that's really, really damp, you wanted to get a bit of ventilation in there, that would do it. But yes, this. Um, press car of course it's got a nice Truckman top on it or Truckman style top I should say so thank you once again to Planet Auto for allowing me to film this lovely car and of course from the San Young press office and we'll just nip into the uh, um, um, NEC for Autosport International now so thank you ever so much indeed for watching don't forget to subscribe to the Planet Auto channel for lots more on this wonderful pickup and um, there's also a walk around on the Mercedes I've just filmed and um, yes, if you're not already subscribed to Lloyd Vehicle Consulting, please do consider doing that. And like this video, leave a comment below. Thank you ever so much indeed for watching. Say goodbye, Ben. Bye bye.